while two year long russia ukraine conflict has taken a toll on russia and ukraine society and economy uh, there is clearly other side of the story as well when we see people from other countries are also being recruited by uh, some fraudster or some agents in the name of providing them job and employment opportunities in russia and then they are forced to fight along the russian army many of such cases has come uh, for indian nationals also fighting in russia uh, nepalese who have been there uh, the, the stories of nepalese youth and nepalese men fighting along russian forces against ukraine has been doing rounds for very long in fact in the after few months of war the nepalese men were reported to have been fighting along russian army against ukraine but now uh, ever since the situation along the border has become very uh, very deadly and people have started getting killed in the shelling and indiscriminate firing uh, by the ukrainian side also there were concern and indian embassy in moscow got activated and they were able to get many indian nationals discharged early uh, one indian national has been reportedly killed also in this war and that has created a lot of headlines and buzz that how come these froster or these agents are being allowed to recruit in the nationals in the name of providing job opportunities now uh, some videos have also surfaced where nepalese youths or nepalese people are asking indian government to help them come out of those war zones they have said that they were uh, you know promised job opportunities by some scamsters or fraudsters who who uh, told them that they will be provided job opportunities in russia in 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 the name of help being helper or some uh, you know ancillary or uh, side jobs along in the army setup itself but now they are being forced to fight as a soldier on the sides of russian soldiers against ukraine and that is where their concern is that that they are neither well trained nor they wanted to fight russia uh, russian uh, along the russian army against ukraine they were just there to earn a money uh, an employment opportunity and just help them also uh, there is a catch because last year we saw that russian uh, president vladimir putin had made it more uh, you know easier for other national people from other nationalities to earn russian citizenship not for only, not only for them but also for their families if they happen to fight along the russian army against ukraine for one year and that was very lucrative offer for many people from these uh, smaller countries like nepal vietnam some people from philippines also have been reported to be uh, in russia fighting along russian army uh, people from india has also they have also been recruited by agents sitting in dubai and in moscow where they were promised uh, a very good decent job opportunity uh, opportunity and a decent monthly uh, salary also and they were told very clearly that they will not be asked to fight as soldier but when they were recruited and they went uh, in russian army's uh, job as helper or some uh, other, other miniature jobs they were soon trained uh, you know half half trained and then they were sent on the borders to fight along soldiers and many of them have got injuries uh, some they some of them have died also and we have seen indian nationals also uh, asking for help on several social media platforms and these videos are very chilling account of how they were forced to fight along russian armies in those circumstances where they are also not trained it up so this is what is happening uh, with the two years war which has in a way depleted hundreds of thousands of soldiers on in russia and ukraine both the sides and the conscription that the russian side had done is not now enough to sustain the war multiple front of which russia is fighting against ukraine and the same goes for ukraine also the two year war has killed hundreds of thousands of people in ukraine also and they are also having this issue of having not enough men who can soldier uh, the burden of fight against russia so this is what is happening after two years of war uh, but the only tragedy is that many people of for whom this war does not have any meaning in terms of being nationality uh, they are also now being sandwiched in this conflict between russia and ukraine 